pain in the rhomboids is fairly common. It is pain which is really located where the muscles are, i.e. between the shoulder blades, or actually between the shoulder blades and the spine. The function of the rhomboids is to bring your shoulder blades horizontally together, like when your parents told you, bring your shoulders back. You see? Well, we were once taught that this is actually a healthy posture, which is completely nonsense. I mean, as you see, when you bring your shoulders back, not only you're shortening the rhomboids, but also you're creating a lot of strain in your upper trapezius, so this can clearly not be healthy. But now, there's one thing you need to understand, is that muscles can be painful because they are kept shortened for a long while, or because they are kept lengthened for a long while, especially if you, during these times, ask them to do an effort. I.e. muscles are weak when they are short, and they are also weak when they are long. So this is painful on the rhomboids, because the shoulder blades are together, i.e. the muscles are kept short. But what's much more common as pain factor for the rhomboids is round shoulder posture. And you see, when my shoulders are round, well, the rhomboids are stretched apart, and once being stretched apart, they have to hold together, kind of, the, the shoulder blades, which are active and which bear the weight of the, uh, of the arms, especially if you do something at a distance. So, round shoulder posture is really, I would say, the most common reason why you would have pain in uh, the rhomboids. And as the rhomboids have a much bigger tendency to actually be lengthened than to be shortened, I'm not going to show you a stretch for the rhomboids. Much more relevant for you is to learn how to, let's say, relieve the rhomboids by not bringing your shoulder blades like this, but by bringing them like that. If you bring them diagonally together, while well, you're act actually activating the lower trapezius, which is much more able to um, bear sustained mobilization, for not saying contraction, and that will help you prevent round shoulders. Look, the idea basically is I have round shoulders, now I will mobilize my lower trapezius, sack. See, it's different from uh, that. Yeah? So lower trapezius brings your shoulder blades down and together. So what is the exercise that I'd like to show you? Well, it's an exercise which you can do in a door frame or in the corner between two walls. Here I'm going to use the corner between the shelf and the wall. And basically, I'm going to have my hands more or less at shoulders level and I'm kind of going to kind of collapse uh, so as to shorten the rhomboids. You see here, this is really not a nice position and to make it even worse, I will raise my shoulder blades. Yeah? And the exercise will be to bring my shoulder blades down while keeping them slightly together. And here I feel tension here in the region of the lower trapezius. And I'm going to do ways and back like this when I inhale and exhale, shoulder blades down. Inhale and shoulder blades down. What's extremely important in this exercise is that my back doesn't go, I do it in this, doesn't go hollow. So you see, even if I want to do the exercise against the shelf, it's also feasible. Collapse, up, down. But what's important is the position of the pelvis. Pelvis shouldn't be forward. Pelvis should be slightly backwards. And once it is backwards, I should tilt it inwards so as to flatten my back. Once my back is flat, it stays flat whilst I do the exercise. Yeah? So this is actually a strengthening exercise. And it's indirectly a rhomboid exercise because I'm learning how to use a muscle that will relieve the rhomboids. You see, when you have rhomboid pain, you don't really work directly on the rhomboids. You work on a muscle that offers to replace the rhomboids so that you leave them in peace.